Hi there traders, welcome to our analysis on the euro dollar and pound dollar for the rest of this week. My name is Chris and welcome to Elite Currency. As always, let's kick off with the euro dollar. This is the four hour chart and the breakout to the upside is indeed occurring as we explained in last video that there is a breakout potential that there is first of all a bounce potential, right? We said put the fib from here to here and there's a good chance that price will bounce at the 50 fib and this previous support zone that's one thing it did then we said take a look at the breakout zone of these fractals this trend line and these previous bottoms and the moving averages and there could be a breakout to the upside and that happened as well so maybe you were able to you know capitalize on that analysis uh, traders that are with our ecs live service uh, got the setup that uh, we took to the upside and uh, we explained exactly where we entered where we had the stop loss and where is our tp and how we would manage this dip all right we had three options that we gave uh for uh the traders that we thought all made sense uh and uh, two of those three options traders are still in that trade to the upside one of them was uh, basically to cut the trade short at break even because of the the news event here that created quite a dip as you can see but the rally very strong and I think that a bullish continuation is likely towards 125. Now, 125, all right, is a zone where we have previous tops. So we got to be aware that that could still be a, a resistance spot. But all in all, all in all, considering yesterday's pretty strong bullish candle and the fact that we had three bullish candles in a row, I think that uh, there's a good chance that price will break through that resistance level. There could be some uh, bull flag or triangle pattern at the previous top. But ultimately, I'm expecting price to continue up to 125, 75, and maybe even to the minus 272 target. Not sure if that target will be reached this week necessarily. We could maybe see a push up, a correction, and then one more push up. And this week, somewhere around the previous top. And then next week, maybe continue towards that target. Something like that uh, could happen. But I think that uh, pretty much looking bullish. And indeed, yet again, the 21 EMA proving so valuable in this bounce as a retracement area and it happens so often you can see here and here and even here as it makes a bigger retracement down to the 144 EMA so if you're interested in trading with EMAs like this and patterns as we do you might be interested in live or our SWOT course which is simple wave analysis and trading but it's not about waves it's about patterns and trading uh, the path of least resistance so Sorry for this, you know, short promo, but basically, you know, we talk about analysis for free uh, three times a week under your dollar, pound, dollar, and you might be interested in knowing how we do it, knowing more about the exact methods we use. So that's why I wanted to share that. But in any case, you can see how, how you know, valuable uh, these tools are. So if you're interested in the SWOT methodology and software, just check out our website. Now, with uh, regard to the euro dollar, uh, you can see that this breakout is is well on its way, and I think that uh, basically we are looking at a continuation. Now, for new trades, I think it's a bit difficult because at this moment, price you know is at a very small bull flag, and there's not much space left towards that resistance level. So, personally, I think if there's any trade to be taken, I would wait for. The next bull flag or triangle at this 125 25 zone and if it makes a sturdy kind of flag or, or triangle i would consider taking the next break to the upside but in all honesty the the best setup was upon this breakout that's where uh, really the the swing trade uh was available any trades here potential trades it's more like an add-on it's a more risky setup it's in a lower time frame I'm not saying it's impossible. I think there is a good chance that it will break through that zone. It's just obviously it's still a strong resistance zone. Therefore, I'm warning, in my view, price needs to make some pattern at that zone. Now, if it doesn't, if it just breaks through right away, right? Again, looking for a flag back to the broken resistance before thinking about any trade. Or if it flies down like this, which I don't expect, then it, you know also be careful i wouldn't want to trade it either way in this case something else is going on there could be still a pullback here due to this trend line 
but definitely the environment is different. So it really depends. My basically my main message is wait for the reaction at that resistance level. That will give us more info about what to expect. All right, because at this moment we don't know. We don't know how price will respond. What I'm looking for is a mild response and a continuation, or a break, pullback, and continuation. But if it flies down like that, I'm very cautious. One way how to measure that is by putting a fib. Let's take a look at the 50-minute chart. Maybe from uh, from here. Uh, no, from here to about well, to that to the top, right? Wherever that top will be, let's say it stops at 125.20. All right. So, you know, if price then retraces anywhere to 23.6 fib, maybe to 38, it's fine. But if it breaks below that, specifically the 50 fib, then definitely not as bullish as I as I expect it to be. All right, pound dollar also uh, broke above this resist these resistance uh, trend lines basically. Uh, that we can have on our chart. Maybe that's not the best one, but let's put it like this. Uh, so, no, you know, no matter how you draw these trend lines, uh, price broke through it, broke through the fractals, broke through the moving averages. It's in a bullish breakout as well. And it too had tested the 21 EMA, and it's now trying to break above the 21 EMA, as you can see. Now, it's still an early break because it really is just pushing above it. So it's still in a vulnerable stage. There's a fractal just above it. So it's, it's not out of the woods as yet, like the euro dollar, I think. Uh, but momentum is there. So I think that here too, if price basically makes kind of a bull flag on an hourly chart, probably, right? Back to the uh, short to moving averages, then the next break would look pretty good for continuation higher. All right. So that's what I'm waiting for for the moment. I think that the pound dollar could continue higher as well. Uh, but uh, looking for that flag, I think, first. This was not much of a flag. It was kind of a, I don't know, it was, it was a very small pattern, uh, maybe a bit too small to trade in this particular zone. I mean, if you traded it, if you entered already here, great. Now, I would probably rather wait for it to, to hit 140.50 maybe. I'm not sure. Let's take a look at how far it could go. Uh, let's put a fit from here to here. All right, it could go to 140.80, which is the next target, 140.70, let's say. Yeah, but there I would, exp I'm waiting for a bull flag, basically, or a break bull flag continue, or a push up bull flag continue. And once again, if it flies down and pushes below 140, probably, let's take a look at the hourly chart and put the fib from here to here. So, yeah, 140, 139.80 is okay, but if it retraces deeper, then it's not looking as bullish. All right, that's about it. More free analysis, of course, at EliteCurrency.com. Also, if you are interested in live or SWAT, uh, feel free to check out our website with more info there. But you can also just start with free info and materials, of course. Try out our ECS.start package. Uh, above all, though, wish you great trading and uh, Hope to see you soon. Cheers.